Hello, it's it's Robert here. How are you? Fine. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. It's a little late in the United Kingdom, so I can't stay too long, if you don't mind. No, I can't stay very long at all. In fact, I'm going to start uh, my mid-week uh, Bible study right now. In fact, I'm late, so... You told me yeah, to ring back uh, in an hour. You told me to ring back in an hour. Yep. You could have saved my time by yes. telling me honestly some other time. No, let's do it right now. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, okay. But uh, you're not as important as the church. I don't know who you are or anything. I don't want to argue with you. I'll just right. tell you what it is. Okay. I believe in the oneness. Yes. In one God. I don't believe in the Trinity depending on how you interpret the Trinity. If you're thinking that there's three identities up in heaven, that three people, that's not such a thing as that. Anything with three heads is a, it's an animal, it's a beast. Uh, I Jesus never said. said. I am the Father. I am the Father. He that doesn't believe me, he says, you shall die in your sins. In fact, the Bible right. says... Could, could, could yes. we look at that verse, John eight twenty four? Could we look at one verse at a time? No, look at a verse. Well, just tell me the verse. In that You quoted John eight twenty four. Therefore I said to you that you will die in your sins, for if you do not believe that I am... The word he is in italics, he, it's not in the Greek text. The sin, you, you will die in your he, sins. You shall die in your sins. Yeah. Yes. If you don't believe that Jesus is God, you you will die in your sins. Right. Who is the one who's speaking in John 8, 24? Who is the one that's speaking? Yeah. Do you know who's speaking? Yes, I do. It's the First, son of... It is. It is the son of. It's the son of man. Um, if you look at verse twenty-eight, if you read on, the speaker in verse twenty-four identifies himself as the son of man in verse twenty-eight. Do you mind if I read it? Then Jesus said to them, "When you lift up the son of man, then you will know that I am He. He's in italics, and that I do nothing of myself, but my Father taught me. I speak these things." So the one who said, if you don't believe that he is I am, which is a shortened form, ego in me, it's a shortened form, it refers to I am that I am, the divine name Yahweh, who Moses saw at the burning bush. If you don't believe that the Son is eternal deity, you're going to die in your sins. The context is right. also the Son at verse 16 that sets, that sets the pattern for verse 24. If I could just read 16 and uh, to 18. And yet, I, if I do judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I am with the Father who sent me. So he's sent by the Father, and he's with the Father. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one who bears witness of myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness of me. You believe in the Trinity, right? That's what you believe in? Well, Obviously, what I feel... Inside my heart, and I'm I'm actually really uh, knowing exactly what you believe because um, I can feel this. I can feel that the reason you call is because you don't like the idea of the oneness of God. You need Do to. You def- believe that the, you believe that there's a Trinity. Do you believe that there's the Father, the Son, and they're all and the Holy Spirit. You believe that there's three people up in heaven? I I, I don't believe there's there are three people. No, and you describe the Trinity as having three heads. I don't believe that uh, the Trinity has three heads. That's a misrepresentation of the Trinity belief. Okay. You quoted John eight twenty four. Could you respond to what I said? Could could, could you respond uh, to what I said? But under the inspiration of, of God. Under the inspiration Sorry? of God, yes. Sorry, Men say that again. Wrote it, if they wrote it when they were writing it, they were using the pen, but but it was through the Holy Ghost, God's Spirit, that was given the inspiration. In no place, if there is no place that I see the Bible saying that there's a Trinity. 
could I respond? Could I respond? There's no verse. There's no verse in the Bible that says modalism or sabellianism or oneness is true, either. So it's a it's it's a ridiculous argument. Oneness is not true. I said you will not find the words modalism, sabellianism, or oneness in the Bible. I didn't say nothing about that. I'm saying yeah, that but, there's only one God. His name is Jesus. Yeah. Would, when he came, the Bible says that God was manifested in the flesh. Now you're quoting that a different means, verse. Could you please respond to what I said about John 8.24? Who is the speaker in John 8, 24? Is it the Father or is it the Son? Who is the one that's speaking? Yeah. Well, do you have the Bible right in front of you? And is it the King James? Um, I'm, I've got the New King James Bible in front of me. I read John 8, 24. No, no. I read John 8, 28. And verses 16, and I think you stopped me. I try to read to verse 18. I think you stopped me. Would you please explain, because there's no point quoting verses if you just want to go on to the next verse. Could, and, could you explain John 8, 24? Who is the one we must believe that he is the I am or we will die in our sins? Is that the father or is that the son? Who do you, who do you think it is? I didn't think. I read verse 28. Look, let me read it to you well, again. Let me read verse 24 to 28. Therefore I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, the word he is in italics, it's not in the Greek text, you will die in your sins. Then they said to him, right. who are you? And Jesus said to them, just what I have been saying to you from the beginning. I have many things to, to say and to judge concerning you. But he who sent me, that's someone other than the speaker, is true. And I speak to the words, world those things which I heard from him. They did not understand that he spoke to them of the Father. Oh, so the one who sent him is the Father. All right. Let Verse 28. Me... Let me make my point, man, please. Verse 28. Then Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, you will know that I am, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father taught me, I speak these things. Robert. So the context for the speaker in verse 24 Robert. is the Excuse Son me. of Man. He identifies himself as the Son of Man in verse 28. Well, it's not the Father yeah. speaking in verse 24. It is the Son. According to, according to the flesh. Who is the speaker in John 8, 24? Is it the Father or is it the Son? According to the flesh, it was the Son. Right, so if you do not believe that the Son is the eternal I Am, you will die in your sins. Agreed? I believe... Agreed I believe or disagree? That he, that the Bible says this. It says that God was meant... Don't go on to some other life. verse. Please, stick to John 8, 24, and then we'll go on to another verse afterwards. But let's get this verse finished, and let's come to some agreement. It says in John 8, 24, if you don't believe I Am... You will die okay. in your sins. So this is very important. Robert, who is the Robert, speaker what? in John 8, 24, Robert, who says, what? if you don't believe what? that he is eternal, I am, meaning Yahweh, you will die Robert, in your sins. You call me because you want me to believe what you believe, right? I'm asking you a question and you're not answering. Who is the speaker? It's a question. I've already told you. Who? You then tell me again. Who is the speaker in John eight twenty four? who says, if you deny okay. that he is eternal, I am, you'll die in your sins. Is I, it the Father I, or I is it the Son? Bible. I don't have the Bible in front of me. Do you? You've had an hour to prepare. You're a pastor and you I don't have not, a Bible. I did not have an hour to prepare, sir. I, you I told me to up, ring back I, in an hour. You I said you were driving. You asked me to ring back in an hour, and you haven't work. even prepared. Because I was I was working, and right. I just came home, and I was taking my wife for lunch, and that's why it will not. I didn't want to talk to you. Right. Could you just Could you just tell me, please? You. Could you just get back to John at twenty four? Who is the one oh. who says? That he is eternal, I am, and you will die in your sins if you deny that. Is that the Father or is that the Son? Well, let me ask you this. Will you die in your sins? Answer my question. Is the speaker the Father or the Son? I already told you. 
Well, yes, I, I don't know what your answer is because you speak in gobbledygook. I already told you and you don't believe me. Who is the speaker in if John somebody, 24? Somebody else would come and tell you, then you would believe. If somebody would lie to you, then you'd believe. But I'm telling you the truth and you don't believe. You're not giving me a straight answer, man, because you're playing tricks and games. Who is the speaker in John 8, 24? Jesus is not tricks and games. I say to you that Jesus is God. But, but Jesus in oneness is the Father, Jesus is the Son, Jesus is the Holy Spirit. So if you answer Jesus, it's, it's a deliberately dishonest answer. Because you could say Jesus, meaning Jesus as the Father, or maybe you believe it's Jesus as the Son, or maybe you believe it's Jesus as the Holy Spirit, or maybe all three. I don't, I don't know. Could you please read John 8.24... I'm sorry, I'll read it for you and tell me who's the speaker in that verse. And if you don't want to do it, then there's no point in us talking. In fact, I believe you are a little bit of the Antichrist because of the things that you're telling me. There's only one God. Do you believe that there's only one God? You see, you're changing, you're the, changing devil, the topic. The devil, you you the can't devil answer the question. So, you raised John 8.24. So Sir, you raised God John 8.24. And, and you don't even know what you're talking Bible, about. You're clueless. No, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to resort. You called me Antichrist, so let's finish it there. Because if you're going to be rude, and, you know, that's not the way for a pastor to act. So let's, let's call... There's only one God, and they tremble. Why do they tremble with Yeah, the we're not listening to each other, so there's no point in having a conversation. So I, I'll say goodbye to you, sir. Bye-bye.